Is that the big advantage that you have is the just knowing the offense and the blocking schemes and things like that? And I'm healthy now. Um, that's the main thing. Whatever coach needs me to do, I'll do it. You need to start a quarterback. All, everybody get familiar with each other. And, you know, the offense runs through Jeff, so it's good to have him back. The freshman linebackers has caught your eye. Um, I like Matt Rowland. You know, he's physical, not afraid to hit. He flies around. You know, it's unfortunate what happened, but he'll, well, he'll be back. How have the coaches been hammering in the new targeting rules in practice? Um, it's unfortunate. You know, um, it's, I mean, it's kind of hard, you know. It's like, it's like we got to play with pillows now. But, um, <laughs> you know, they tell you, you know, watch film. You know, if you come through free on a blitz, you know, they tell you you got to target low. Um, you got a receiver flying across the middle. We don't kill them in practice, but they let you know, you know, <laughs> you can't, you can't go targeting this head. So you know, um, it's just, you know, I, I understand they're trying to make the game safer. You know, so I think some of the players said Muschamp's been ejecting some players for doing that. Have, have you seen that? And what's that been like for guys getting maybe, you know, um, put aside if they make a hit that they're not supposed um, to. I'm, I don't. I don't know if he's been ejecting players from practice about it. I know he's. I know he's telling us. You know, be smart, play smart about it. You know, don't go run right into, directly into a guy's helmet. Don't launch yourself. If you're gonna hit somebody, hit them face up, and don't launch yourself into them. Make, if you're making a tackle, hit them, wrap them, wrap them up like you're talking pop one or something. How does it make you? Does it slow you down in the field? Is it something that you're conscious of and you have to think of? Um, I mean, if, the, if when that's the case, that's when people get hurt. I feel. Um, I, I'm just gonna react and play. You know, um, I can only let my play, you know, do do, do anything else for me. You know, if a receiver's coming across the middle, I got a clean shot on them. And I don't, I, I don't feel as on my body reacting. As long as I've been playing, I'll react any differently. You know, so I can't. You can't hold back because then that's when you give up plays. You know, give up big plays, giving up touchdowns. You know, you can't think when you're on the field. Sometimes you just gotta react. So that's what I feel. All we got, all we have to do, and then. It, and then sometimes it's out of our hands. So Coach uh, Coach Muschamp has talked about your blocking. I mean, how do you view the balance of a job tight end blocking to receiving? Yeah. What do you? They're they're you know they're equally as important. But obviously, what we do, you know, last year we ran the ball 27 times in a row against LSU or some unbelievable number. You know, we need tight ends who can block. So physical play is number one, especially even running routes. Physical play, you know, is also key. So being physical and. Uh, you know, in the block game and the passing game is important. What's Gideon looking out there? Um, he's doing pretty good. He's uh, picking up the offense. He has no problems. And he's, he's playing pretty physical, so he's, he's doing really good. Are you kind of taking that staff with that leadership role, kind of leading him through since it's a new position? Yeah, yeah. Um, with him and Lego as well, I'm just trying to teach them and answer any questions they have and, you know, just 